Hi there, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to use your Folito Line Planner that integrates links to Apple Calendar and the Reminders app. The feature of linking the planner to the Reminders app is only available for our portrait planners at the moment. If you like this feature for the landscape planners as well, please let me know in the comments. Our planners with these new features can be used in PDF annotation apps that work with hyperlinks such as GoodNotes, Notability, NoteShelf on Apple devices. In this demo, I'll show you how this works in GoodNotes on iPad. For demonstration purpose, I'll display my iPad horizontally so you can see it clearly. First, in order for these two features to work, Please make sure you click here to install the shortcut on your iPad or any other Apple devices. You can find this page at the beginning of the planner. Let's click install shortcut here. Click setup shortcut. If you use GoodNotes for the planner, simply click add shortcut. If you use a different app such as Notability, click here and find Notability. If you have trouble installing the shortcut, you can try this. Go to Settings, find the Shortcuts app, and turn on Private Sharing. After you install the shortcut, you can turn this off. The shortcut will connect our planner to Apple Calendar. As we need the Shortcuts app for these features to work, I would suggest keeping your Shortcuts app to the slide over mode. Okay. First, I'll show you how to link the planner to your Apple Calendar. Let's say you have a meeting at 11 a.m. on August 21st. Let's go to the daily page for that day. Click on the time slot 11 a.m. You'll see a pop-up message that says the link will open the Shortcuts app. So just click Yes. The shortcut runs and this will open up your Apple Calendar and brings you to the exact time and date of the schedule panel. You'll need to enter the event title in both the Planner and Apple Calendar. Here's the tip. You can write it down in the Planner first and copy it and paste it to your Apple Calendar. It will automatically convert your notes to text. Please note, this trick may not work in other note-taking apps. Okay, now I'll show you another tip. What if I want to schedule an all-day event? Let's say November 1st is Dad's birthday. Simply go to the daily page of that day and click on any of these time slots here to bring up the exact date on Apple Calendar. And turn on all day. Okay, now let me show you how to link the planner to your Reminders app. So here I'm on my daily planning page with some to-do lists on July 14. Let's say I want to add this task review video to my Reminders app. Let's copy it and click on this icon at the top right corner here. It will bring up a few prompts from your Reminders app. The first prompt is the title for the task you want to save in Reminders. Let's paste the task we just copied here and click Done. Then it comes the second prompt. Choose the list where you want to save the task. Bear in mind, if you don't have any lists in your Reminders app, you'll see a message that says there's no list to choose from instead. So please make sure you at least add a list in your Reminders app. Okay. Let's do it again. I 
I'll save it in my word list. Now it comes the last prompt, where you'll see an option for you to add a time for the task. If you don't want to add a time, simply click done. It will add this task to the exact date, which is July 14, 2023 in this demo. If you want to add a time, it's very simple. Let's say I want to add this task meet teachers with the time. When we get to the last prompt, enter the space key first and enter the time like so. Make sure you add AM or PM after the number to get the time right and click done. Now, as you can see from the Reminders app, the task I just added are right here. They're both assigned the date, one with time and the other without time. Okay, here's what I've got for you for now about these two features. I hope you like them. Please feel free to let me know if you think these features are useful or any suggestions to improve them. I'll see if it's possible. Thank you for watching.